Hey everybody, it's teacher Amy and I am here to answer a question that I see a lot on the Facebook group. It's how do I open prop slides and reward slides for the same class if I'm only using one device? Now this works really easily on the uh, iPad. So I'm going to show you how to do this. I apologize that I only know how to use the iPad because that's all I have. I don't use a Kindle in class and I don't use any Android tablets or things like that. So I only know about the iPad, but if you have an iPad, I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm also going to show you how to do it if you have an iPhone, which is a little bit trickier, but it still works. So first things first, on the iPad, you want to make sure that you have the Google Sheets app, which is this green icon over here. The Google Sheets app is going to allow you to open the slide finder, which is where you're going to search for the slides that you would like to use in your classes. So when you open the slide finder in the Google Sheets app, it's going to look like this. You're going to use this little slidey bar down here at the bottom to go over to, let's start with rewards. And then you're going to use this little three dot menu up in the corner here. You're going to click that and hit find and replace. That will bring up a search bar at the top. You can type in whatever you want up here. I already searched for Hello Kitty. So when I search for Hello Kitty, it's going to bring up, um, it, it'll put a blue box around the ones that are matching your search terms. And then you just hit the little arrows up and down to move through the search results. Now, when you click on one of these links, it's gonna bring up this little three choice menu here. You're gonna click open link, and then it's gonna bring up another three choice menu. Now, the top one here says Google Slides. Do not be fooled. Do not open it in Google Slides because you will not be able to open more than one at a time. Now, the idea here is that you are going to open it in a browser so that you have tabs and you'll be able to switch back and forth between the tabs very easily. Google Slides does not have tabs, so you won't be able to do that. So instead, you're going to click on Safari, which is the default browser on the iPad, so it would be the one that shows up on that little menu for you. Then it is going to bring you to a Safari page that looks nothing like a Safari page because it doesn't have any tabs at the top. So that's really unhelpful, but all you have to do is click this little compass icon in the top right corner and it is going to bring you to an actual Safari page that is going to open with tabs for you. So there you are, there's your reward. Then you're gonna go up to this little corner up here and hit Sheets and you're gonna go back to Sheets and then hit Done because that reward was already opened and close out of your search and then you can go to the props tab at the bottom and then you can click on whatever you want to open for your props. You'll get another menu. You're gonna hit open link. You're gonna hit Safari. You're gonna hit the little compass. And now you have, you can see those two tabs up there. So you've got your props open that are loading right here in the tab that's open right now. And then you've got your reward right next to it right there. So I would set these up for my whole shift. I would put like my reward for the first class along with my props and then my reward for the next class and then the props. So you would have tab, 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 tab. And then as you finish your classes, you can just close them out. So there you have it, very simple. Okay, so it works a little bit differently on the iPhone, but the same concept is applied here. You are gonna be opening them in a browser so that you can see more than one slide presentation at a time. So you're gonna need the Sheets app on your phone as well. So I'm gonna open that. I've got my slide finder open here. I'm going to, I'm, I'm on the rewards tab on the bottom here, but you can move this, oops. You can move this back and forth to go to rewards or props. And I'm on the rewards tab here. So I'm gonna go ahead and open a reward. When I click on it, it is going to bring up that same three choice menu that you had on the iPad. I'm going to do open link. I'm going to choose Safari, and then I'm going to hit the little compass bar in uh, the compass button in the bottom right hand corner here. Now, when I open it like this and I turn it sideways, you can see that I have the uh, URL bar as well as the tab bar here, and it's kind of taking up a little bit of my slide. Not only is it kind of annoying and it doesn't let you go full screen, but when you actually try to use the reward, the back button that is located over here, the green button, you can't reach it because of the way that the screen is set up. So there are two steps that you can do to make this all work for you. First of all, I hope this option is available on everybody's phone. I have an iPhone 10s, so it's a newer phone, so I don't know if this is available to everybody, but I'm hoping that it is. Um, so what you're gonna do is go to your settings, just your general settings tab right here. You're gonna scroll down until you see Safari, and then you're going to scroll down a little bit further until you see this one right here that says show tab bar. Now, if you toggle that off, it's going to take away the tab bar on Safari. So when I go back here, 
when I turn this sideways. So I've gained a little bit more space. Now you can see that the, the, the back button is now available, but I still have the URL bar at the top. So there's one more step that you can take. Turn your phone to portrait mode. You get this tiny little icon, this uh, gear icon right over here. You're gonna click on that and then a little menu is gonna pop up and you're going to hit open editor. Now, before you do anything, before you go into delve into this uh, slide at all, I want you to go to the tab, the double square on the bottom left here, or the bottom right, sorry, I'm backwards. Uh, and then I want you to close the one that you just opened because it has the same name as the one that's open in the editor. And if you get them mixed up, you're gonna have one that opens an editor and one that doesn't. You want the one that's open in editor because when you turn it sideways, you have a full screen. There's no URL bar, there's no tab bar, and you can use this completely full screen like you would if you were in the slides app, except you can turn it sideways and you can hit the tab button. And now you've got your rewards and your uh, prop slides and everything right here so that you can just flip back and forth between them. So I hope that that helped you guys out. If you have questions, please let me know. I am unfortunately only familiar with the iPhone and the iPad devices because those are just what I have. But if you have something different and you found a way that works for you, please let us know so that we can share it with other users. Um, but for now, if you have an iPad or an iPhone, you are all set to use props and rewards on the same device in the same class. Happy teaching.